Oh, Shyamalan, it's good to have you bad again. <laughs> this is a real return to form. Uh, so, all right, I just got back from seeing Old. You can guess how it was, but uh, in what way was it Shyamalan bad? Is it the uh, boring kind of bad, or is it the really entertaining kind of bad? It's the entertaining kind of bad. If you are a fan of awkward masterpieces like The Happening and Lady in the Water. This comes close to rivaling that. Uh, it is not quite as bad. Uh, I, I guess it was based on a graphic novel, and uh, honestly, it is a good idea. It's kind of a fun idea. Uh, but I argue more for, like, a horror comedy, which... I mean, in my opinion, that's kind of what this is, but uh, I don't think it was intentional. So, this is a very uh, uh, basic premise. It's this family that goes uh, to this beach at this resort with uh, a few other uh, couples, a few other people. And when they're there, they suddenly start to get older. Uh, <laughs> but then it's, it's weird, because, okay, because they also can't leave... The reason being they black out and are suddenly, like, ten feet back from where they were exiting. And despite, I guess, some people, like, watching them sometimes. Like, they'll look and just see them, like, try to go in. Then suddenly they're ten feet outside the beach. They never explain how that happens. <laughs> like, they black out, but but not how they got, like, whatever, ten feet back. They didn't say, like, we dragged you back. They're like, no, you just appeared here on the beach. So, so there's that. Uh, but on top of that, whenever somebody, like, tries to uh, cut them or something like that, uh, it heals right up, except for some that don't. And everyone kind of ages at a different pace. They say they, like, do the mathematics in their head, like, how much they're aging, like, in certain amounts of time, like, how many uh, minutes and hours and stuff. But everybody ages at a different rate. <laughs> and... The big thing that is just so funny in this movie... Okay, let me give credit first. There's three good actors in the film. Uh, Rufus Sewell is in this. He's always fantastic. He's in this. He's great. Uh, the actor who plays uh, the father of the two kids in this it is pretty good. Sometimes he's a little awkward, but it's, I mean, he's pretty good. And then there's a dude... Uh, who's a rapper in this, he comes in uh, later in the film, and he's also pretty good. All of them read this phenomenally awkward dialogue well, to a point where it sounds kind of convincing. Everyone else is so bad, it's amazing! It is, I mean, just like the first couple of lines are just wrong, and it's the good old-school Shyamalan wrong that's just so entertaining. And, you know, I don't know. I I'm having more of an appreciation for directors that take risks and just do their own thing, whether it works or not, but they do it with a passion. And whatever you can say about Shyamalan, he has a passion for what he's doing. And it really does show. And it's so entertaining because the way this dialogue is written is just like the happening where everyone does stuff in a very exposition-y way. Oh, here's a good way to get around uh, using the phrase, as you know which he does use, uh, is having the kids play this game where they go up to random people and say, Hi, what's your name and what's your occupation? Well, that gets that out of the way, doesn't it? <laughs> Everyone is suddenly saying, oh, who, who they are and what they do. That, that's an easy way around that. Uh, the performances in this from so many of the actors, especially one name, I think Jaron, I think is, was his name in this. I don't know if he said one thing convincing in this film. It, like, it's phenomenal. He's like, and it's Jaron, by the way. Like, he's a, he's a nurse in this, and so sometimes he can help with medical stuff, but he doesn't say anything like a nurse. Everything's kind of this bizarre, both calculated and not calculated way of saying everything like everyone is in this. And to their credit, it's not easy. It's Shyamalan dialogue. It's like his traditional kooky dialogue that's just so hilarious. And I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to say 
about this <laughs> because it's just going to be me repeating that. This is such a, I want to say, by the book Shyamalan film, but the author of that book is so insane and bizarre that it still entertains me. So, if you're looking for a legit scary film, or, or, or like this sort of uh, social satire or something like that, using a horror film to comment on something, you're not really gonna get that. Like, even the commentary is not that interesting. But if you're looking for, like I said, just the old school, crazy, funny, awkward, bad Shyamalan, they got it, man. They, they, they got it here. I will say it's mostly, like I said, the, the idea is not bad, even though there, there's a lot of little tidbits that don't make sense. It's mostly the directing and the writing and the acting. But, you, I, yes, those are big things. <laughs> but it's not to a point of where the happening is like, oh, really, that, that's the twist trees really you know it's or lady in the water where it's like this is just the ramblings of a madman kind of thing it's not quite that it's because it is a decent idea and i guess it was based on something else maybe that's why uh but it is something where just every delivery from the majority of the actors is so off in such an entertaining way and if you're a fan of that like i am this is just gold. I say the only downside is it starts to get a, a little boring near the end, and I think that's because, uh, I, I mean, not a big surprise, but the amount of people get smaller and smaller in this film, uh, so there's not as much that uh, people can, uh, you know, work off of each other and, and get that great comedy from, but it is still very, 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 very funny. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, I, I guess there's not a ton else I can say. I, now I have to figure out if I give this, like, a one star or a three star. Like, what do you do with this? Because <laughs> it is bad, but I, I'm recommending it. I'm totally recommending it. Uh, so th that'll be uh, my cross to bear. So, uh, obviously, if you're a fan of his bad films... Check it out. You'll have fun. Uh, the audience I was watching with, which wasn't very big, but uh, the ones that were there, they were laughing too, and I don't know if they were intending to. I think they were meaning to see it, <laughs> to see it as a legit movie, but uh, but they were having some good laughs. I think we were all kind of working off of each other's laughter. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for a legit scary film, this isn't that. But if you're looking for a uh, so awkward it's funny movie, this is it, man. You know what to go see. <laughs> so yeah, if you saw this film, let me know what you think. Am I totally wrong? Is this like a legit great the horror film, does it really have great commentary and satire and I, I just completely missed the mark or are you like me and having a good laugh or do you think it's so bad you can't even laugh at it? It's just bad. It's not even enjoyable. Uh, let me know what you think. I had a real good time. I, I do recommend it as uh, an old school uh, bad Shyamalan film. Uh, you know, the guy... He writes his heart, man, and you know what? It entertains. He's looking to entertain. He's doing a good job of it, and I, I don't know if I'm ever going to miss a project of his, man. I always look forward to them. So that's about it. I'll see you next time. Take care.